Insert incredibly captivating five to 10 second intro right here. It's time to learn how to grow your YouTube channel and make your YouTube videos. Let's go baby, roll that title sequence. All right, so you click on that thumbnail after reading the title, maybe considering the description, and you're like, hmm, I wanna learn how to make a YouTube channel. I wanna learn how to start my gaming channel on YouTube, and that's what we're doing today. We're talking about how to start your gaming channel, how to grow your gaming channel, how to talk, how to improve your gaming channel, and get going on YouTube. So, as you guys can see, I have a gaming channel. We do Call of Duty, competitive Call of Duty for the most part on this channel. We're just diving right into this. I had like barely any intro. Normally I would say like, yo YouTube, what's going on with your voice donations elite? Uh, but today we're just going right into the tips and the tricks. Like I said in yesterday's video, I wanted to take the two days before Modern Warfare's multiplayer was revealed to go through tips. Yesterday we talked about how to get a job in esports, and today we're talking about how to improve your gaming channel. So, so the goal for this video is to help you guys in any aspect, in any regard when it comes to content creation. And hopefully in five years we can look back at these comments and see hundreds of YouTubers that have hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers. Because you guys after this video went out and dominated the YouTube game and just killed it and that would be that would be the coolest thing ever if, you know some of you guys would just kill it after this video so it's incredibly important to understand the fundamentals of youtube and a youtube audience how content works and how the youtube algorithm works and what it before we actually even talk about what you you have to do specifically to succeed on youtube so when it comes to the aspects of content or good content there's like four key points that we all have to consider the the, the four key points are how entertaining are you how good is your information how good are you at delivering your information and how good are you at the game you're playing? Like how skillful are you at the game you are playing? That is generally a very important aspect of what you're talking about when it comes to a gaming channel. So those are all things that you have to consider and as while you're making your content, you're looking to improve in all those areas. You're looking to improve at your entertainment. You're looking to improve your information, to give better information, give better tips, better news, new perspectives, new ideas. That's, that's kind of all like wrapped up in the information. The next thing is how you do you deliver your information. That can be the quality of your speech, the angle you take, the edits you do inside of your content itself, how you present it, the, the way you present it, maybe you do it in a different, like Good Mythical Morning is a good example of this. With their content, obviously they're naturally funny and entertaining, but they present their, their games way different than like any other channel ever did in the past on YouTube. And they have just so many quirky, fun ideas. Like they'll throw darts at the board to guess instead of just saying, well, I think this is from China. They have to say, I think it's from China, but then they actually have to throw the dart at the board and however close they get to China is, you know, part of the game. So like that type of stuff is really fun. So you have to think about how you deliver information. And that's something that I'm still trying to improve on. It's, it is tough to be innovative in the gaming scene considering there's so many gaming YouTubers, but that's something that all of us have to continually try to improve in innovate and think of new and better ideas to do things like that. So the next aspect is just the YouTube technicalities. It's the, the nerdy side of YouTube. It's understanding how YouTube works, how people work, and how they work together on YouTube. So YouTube promotes videos based generally around watch time, kind of like slash retention rates and click through rates. That's kind of like the current model on YouTube. As of July or August, 2019, it's based around retention rates and click through rates. So without boring you guys too much, retention rates are basically based around how long does somebody watch your videos for and how much of the video do they watch. So the time and the percentage, those are the two things about a video that are important for the YouTube algorithm. And then the other thing is the click through rate. So when a viewer is shown your video, how often do they click on it? When I see Mr. Beast video, do I click on Mr. Beast video? And again, Mr. Beast is the king of click-through rates. I bet his, I would love to see his analytics on the click-through rates because they have to be absolutely unreal. His titles, his thumbnails, and the first two lines of the description are incredibly important when it comes to the click-through rate because that's what's shown generally to audiences. Let's just take a quick look at some of Mr. Beast's thumbnails because it's pretty obvious right away what he does. Like, look at this one. Do water repellent shoes actually work? Okay, if you just heard that title, you'd be like, that is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But look at the thumbnail, man. Like, it's not just them spraying on water repellent onto shoes. Like, this is genius. It's him walking on water with these water repellent shoes. Like, that's genius. The title works with the thumbnail so well. But if you look at other thumbnails, it's just as good. Or like this one, Lastly, the Circle wins $10,000 challenge. This is kind of like one of the first circle ones here. They're not actually in that circle. They just, they like, all right, here, let's all sit like this. Make it look as ridiculous as possible. I will Photoshop a circle around you. And then you put day number three in the top right corner, like genius stuff for a thumbnail. And that blue video absolutely blew up. It differs video to video, but it's important to think of videos where you might have an idea for a thumbnail before you even make the video. And it's important to make thumbnails that 
say one thing and then the title says something else that, that just creates a lot of intrigue with your videos. And I'm still trying to get better at this myself, obviously. And it is tougher when you're doing information and when you're doing like, like tips videos, it's important to evolve your content where you're doing like gameplays and IRL videos, other types of things where you can really stretch the thumbnails to, to be really cool like that. Definitely a perspective that you need to have and understand overall to be successful on YouTube. So there's definitely some cliches that you hear in like every single grow your channel video or whatever it is, but there is absolutely some truth to it. And the first thing is you have to love the process of creating a YouTube video. If you don't, you're just gonna burn out after after a handful of videos or a few weeks or a few months, and then it's just gonna be wasted time. So you really do have to enjoy the whole process of coming up with the ideas, preparing the video, recording the video, editing the video, uploading the video, publishing the video, creating the thumbnail. That has to all be enjoyable for you. Like for me personally, I actually, surprisingly enough, love the editing and the thumbnail process the most. Not even the recording or the preparing side is, isn't even my favorite thing. Truly, the editing and the thumbnail. I love making thumbnails. I love making, I love editing the videos. So that makes enjoying the process a lot easier for me. But everybody has to kind of find their own personal way to do it and really enjoy it in their own way. So the next two cliches are patience and consistency. If you're going into YouTube expecting to be insane right off the rip, it's not gonna work. You might think of people who blew up on YouTube, but they didn't blow up. Like guys like Ninja or guys like Mr. Beast or any of these guys that blew up, they've been grinding for a long time, learning the world of YouTube, learning the world of Twitch, learning how to make content. And that is what excelled them, like pushed them to the next level. Eventually you have that Eureka moment where you hit that next level. And that, that comes at different times for everybody else. But like, for me, it's been a pretty slow grind so far. We just hit 10,000 subscribers, which I've been saying last videos, but. Thank you so much, everybody. I really do appreciate that. My videos were way different at the beginning than they are now. And like, I was not a good content creator at the beginning. I was just making videos to make videos because I enjoyed it. And as you move along, you get better and better. So like the biggest, most important thing is to just do it and just start, take it right out of Nike's book and just do it, do it, you know? <laughs> like, I, come on, man. At some point you just have to bite the bullet. You have to just start making content. And that's where, that's where it starts. And you have to test the waters. Maybe you find out that you don't enjoy it as much as you think you're going to once you really start getting into the grind. And if you're just uploading videos, just kind of with half effort, you know, uh, keeping it PG here, but ha with half effort, like it's not gonna work. Like you have to go all in. You have to make the thumbnails. You have to learn how to edit well, have to be connect with your audience. And that is all really important. And again, the consistency is also important. You have to upload once a week, once every other day every day, you know, something like that. You have to get on a schedule and really try to stick to it and be really transparent with your audience in that regard. Like, hey guys, we're gonna be doing one video a week, two videos a week, or just tell them I do my best to upload as much as possible and then expect one to three videos a week, but we'll always at least have one, you know, something along, along those lines. That's important for the audience to know that they can expect more and that'll convert viewers and subscribers way more effectively if you're really transparent with them about that. And a few other things that are really important is just being innovative, trying new things, and then being willing to fail in those innovations. Like you might post some videos that just don't hit or just don't have the viewership that you'd like to have. Like just a few months ago, I uploaded a video where I did like an interview. I ripped off Screen Rants, pitch meetings, which I said at the end of the video. I didn't just straight up rip it off. It kind of made a video about Call of Duty. It didn't have the viewership that I was really hoping for it to have. So I failed, but to me, I really enjoyed making the video. To some people, the people who watched it enjoyed it. So for me, it was a personal success. And even though it didn't get the views that I was hoping for, those are the types of things I think it's important to grow as a creator, trying new things. So many guys get stuck in doing the same thing over and over and their channels just kind of eventually get dry, stale, stagnant. Like, I think the best example of a creator who's innovated is KSI. He's, I mean, his innovation's been unreal. How he was able to tell stories early on in his gameplays, he would do Q and A's with his parents that were hilarious. He moved into rapping and music. They would do IRL sports, soccer videos all the time. Eventually he gave up FIFA, he was doing more music. He was doing like commentary, funny videos, just random skits. Like this dude has tried everything. He's made movies, like he's boxed. Like this dude has done everything. He's innovated in so many new ways. And the Sidemen are still killing it today in a lot of parts because KSI, Mini Mentor, all those dudes are so innovative with their content and are so willing to try totally new random things because they love creating. So that's really important if you want your channel to succeed long term. And that's something where I'm gonna keep trying to improve as we've now like, you know, we're starting to grow. We can like expand our horizons a little bit now that we have over 10,000 subscribers. And that's just really important overall. So many people are just scared to start posting at the beginning because they're, they don't think they're gonna be good. They want to make videos, but they don't think they have it. They don't 
They don't know if they're gonna be good. They think they're gonna be cringe. Like, dude, everyone's first videos are cringe. My goodness. Like some creators might take them down eventually. Like if you go back and look at my, my past videos, here's a clip real quick of a cringe video from my past. C so that if he tries to take something, I got my teammates back. All right, so he's down there. I'm here. We're gonna like reset the game. Oh, way to go, teammate. He went clutch over there. It's a way to go. Dope prodigy. Dogs. I hate dogs. <laughs> awesome. Like, dude, that's terrible. Like, I, I was not good. And, like, I've gotten way better in front of the camera, talking to my audience, and, like, being able to connect on a personal level through the camera so much better than I did even, like, a year ago. Like, even a year ago, I was still struggling, at least what I wanted to be in front of the camera. And... I'm still not perfect now by any means. I'm sure in two years or three years, I'll look back and be like, wow, this dude was cringe in 2019 in July, you know? Like, who knows? But at the end of the day, I think it's just incredibly important to be genuine, authentic with your audience, and just be who you are at that moment in front of the camera. And people are gonna respect you for being who you are, whether or not it's cringe or whatever. Like, at the beginning when I started my channel, I knew I wasn't that good at Call of Duty. Like, comparatively to a lot of other people on YouTube. I was decent, but I was by no means good. I wasn't that high up on the GB's ladders. I wasn't like a 2.5, 3, 4 KD in pubs or anything. But I just wanted to make content because I enjoyed making content. And over the months, years, I've gotten better and better. And now I'm kind of where I would have liked to be back then. So in my mind, I'm just getting started to the place where I can make great content. I mean, I posted my first video ever in 2014. 2013, like back during Black Ops 2, and then I really started posting a lot during Ghosts with just random gameplays on this channel. And I made FIFA stuff that I've kind of taken down off my channel since I'm not a FIFA channel anymore. Um, and I made like Uncharted 4 stuff. I made, I've made like Last of Us videos. I've live streamed PUBG, I made PUBG videos. So it's just like, you just have to try new things, see what works, see what feels good, and get better in front of the camera. Like my live comms back then were nowhere near as good as they are now. And I hope within like three or four years, they're gonna be nowhere near as good as they are gonna be in the future. I know I've been running a lot overall, but like that's just incredibly important in itself. The next thing is to create community. And this is important to do, this is incredibly important to do. And this is something I wish I would have done more early on. And I'm still trying to do better at it now. And so the easiest way for streamers or for content creators to grow is to be willing to play with their viewers, interact with their viewers at all times on social medias, answer questions for them any question they might have anywhere. YouTube comments, Twitter, Instagram DMs. Like you have to be really responsive in all those regards for people to trust you down the road. And I think that's really important to be transparent, be honest, open, and really accessible for your viewers. Like that's why I was really excited to create the Discord community, start doing community tournaments. And in the future, I wanna really emphasize playing with viewers. And I'm way behind on that ball. Like I should have been doing this way earlier on, but I don't I don't really know why I never did. So. That is somewhere I struggled in the past or just haven't done a good job of, and that's something I really wanna capitalize on moving forward. And smaller creators, like you have like 500 subs, you should be doing videos like say every Saturday you come out with a video that you played with your viewers or your subscribers. Like that'd be a cool video. I've done a few community Saturday streams where I played with you know viewers and subscribers in the past. Say you had a video come out every single Saturday that was playing with subscribers and your whole community always knew that every Saturday you'd be posting a video playing with subscribers and on Friday nights you'd be playing with them and on Saturday you'd be editing the video. So I don't know, those are just ideas you can throw out, come up with new things to interact with your audience and that can be really important. So at the end of the day, like eventually everyone will get their big break and that might come from a viral video, that might come from a shout out from another YouTuber, that might be, come from you know becoming friends with other YouTubers or joining an org or whatever it might be. And at the end of the day, you'll, you'll gain the respect of your peers by putting out high quality content and working hard. So if you're grinding, getting out a video a day, multiple videos a week, and they're high quality videos that you're really working hard for, people are gonna respect that and be more willing to shout you out down the road. And like I know I've I've made some connections in the in the YouTube world just because people have respected the content I put out. And that's all really important in the whole process. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's pretty long and longer than I thought it was going to be. So if you guys did enjoy the video, I hope you guys learned something and it might benefit you guys down the road. So I'd love to see some comments down below of you guys who are gonna start grinding because of this video. And maybe in two, three years down the road, you guys are gonna be massive YouTubers, bigger than me now, with millions of subscribers. And it'd be awesome to see that that started here. So again, guys, I appreciate all the support. It really means a lot to me. As always, guys, have a voice on and we'll see you next time. I'm out.